what is up my embers welcome back to another one of my videos if you guys have never seen my lovely face before make sure you guys click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every single time that i post i post two videos a week sometimes it's one but it's never gonna be none girl and without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right into this video so y'all for this video i'm gonna be showing you guys all of my perfumes i don't know if you can really see them from the view but i have a pretty good perfume collection they're not all high-end there is some super affordable perfumes in here and um like i said i don't have a whole bunch of high-end perfumes so if you're into like super high-end expensive perfumes this probably isn't going to be the video for you just being honest if you are a baddie who wants to smell good and have a sense that it don't cost too much but will literally last on you all day just keep on watching so for my first part of my perfume collection i have one two three four five dossier perfume dossier is basically a company that does high-end perfumes um like dupes for a cheaper price and when i tell you guys these scents last on me all freaking day one of my favorite ones is floral lavender this is one of the ysl perfumes and it just smells so freaking good one time i sprayed it on me um before i had to whenever i lived in charlotte and i had to make like a super long drive um down here down to where my sister stays at and she literally said she could still smell it on me like she told me i smelled so good and that means a lot because y'all know sometimes when you get like cheaper perfumes you want them to last all day but they don't last all day but this literally lasts on your clothes all freaking day and Laura lavender is literally such a good scent it smells so good it is one of the ysl perfumes i can't remember exactly which one it is but they have a whole bunch of dupes i also have this one which is floral marshmallow this is like the killian in like marshmallow perfume or something like that um it's very sweet like cotton candy um like a rich cotton candy this one isn't one of my favorites the floral marshmallow is not one of my favorites but floral lavender is definitely one of my freaking favorites and then i also have fruity brown sugar this one smells good but i don't know like I always get old lady vibes from certain perfumes and this one is it's not old lady it smells good but i don't know there's just some that i feel like like aren't really the scent for me and i feel like this is one of those too but i want to get so many other dossier perfumes but the ones that i did really want were sold out so these are the ones that i got i also have gourmand orange blossom which smells super freaking good i love the smell of that one and fruity almond which is the dupe for carolina herrera on the website it tells you which perfume like it's a dupe for which is really cool and i also have a code with dossier that my code is j10 if you guys want to check them out literally some of your favorite perfumes are probably on there and the smells are literally identical you guys have to go try them out i also have an affiliate link um down in my description box below if you guys want to check that out but seriously dossier is such a cool brand um all of the bottles have magnetic tops it's such nice quality and you seriously will not regret buying it and that's coming from somebody who has also tried another perfume brand who gives like dupes out and the other brand that i try that does like perfume dupes is rebel scents and i bought this yso black opium um off of rebel scents and when i tell you guys this literally lasts on my skin like for an hour i'm literally not joking but dossier last forever like it literally is like the regular perfume it lasts all day as it should but i've noticed that with rebel scents i don't think that the perfumes are 100 percent authentic if you know what i'm saying because they're discounted i don't know it's just not i don't think it's the real deal but i do have the ysl black opium from rebel scents i love the smell of ysl black opium i just don't think that the smells last as long um so if you want to go ahead and buy a perfume from a company that does like dupes and that type of thing i definitely recommend dossier over rebel sense nothing against rebel sense i just personally don't think that this is like it looks like the real thing but it's nothing like the smell does not last at all if that makes sense but like i said nothing against rebel sense i'm just saying that i don't think these are really worth the hype at all okay my next two perfumes that i have in my collection are literally one of my all-time favorite favorite 
favorite, favorite perfumes ever of life ever. I have mentioned these before in my Amazon favorites and uh, you can get these at Urban Outfitters, but I got mine from, I got this one from Amazon, this one's from Marshalls, but as you guys know, most of the scents that you find in Marshalls one time, you probably won't be able to find again. So I found these on Amazon. If you guys click the link in my description box, I have my Amazon storefront linked and you just scroll down to where it says perfumes, you click it and you will find these. This is the 118 Papaya Tropique Hair and Body Mist. And I actually just found out that there's a perfume version of this, which I definitely need to get because this lasts all day. And if, if the hair and body mist lasts all day, girl, what? I've said so many times, I'm gonna smell so crazy. Bring all these smells. This literally smells like tropical candy to me. It smells so freaking good. If you are a fruity candy kind of girl, this perfume is for you. This is seriously so, it smells so freaking good. People who like more mature scents probably will not like this, but I'm telling you, if you like fruity, if you like candy, and you like to smell like a bad bee, you're gonna need this perfume, okay? So again, this is the 118 Papaya Tropique perfume. And the next one that I have, which is also oh, one of my top, top favorites, is the 019 Miel Bebe perfume. This one is more muskier, I must say, um, but they do have very similar notes. This one is just more mature, I want to say. This smells so freaking good. If you look up the perfumes, you can look up the notes and everything for each perfume. But when I tell you guys, I highly, highly recommend these perfumes, like... You seriously cannot go wrong. I don't know. I just think that these are always going to be one of my favorite perfumes. And I honestly want to try more from this brand. Um, Le Monde. I think that's the brand. Le Monde. Something like that. But literally, if you guys ever go to Marshalls, make sure you guys check the little perfume section for these type of perfumes. I've smelled some of them that are a little questionable. But Miel Bebe and Tropique Papai. Girl, what? Oh, Papai Tropique. You can't go wrong. You literally cannot go wrong with these two. They're the perfect duo, okay? Okay, the next perfume in my collection is the Paris Hilton perfume. I literally love this perfume. This perfume reminds me of when I was like in high school and younger because I really, really loved this perfume. And I love Paris Hilton. I love everything that she stands for. Um, she is an icon and I seriously love her brand. I think this perfume is so sexy and I just love this freaking perfume. It just smells so freaking good. It smells like what I would imagine Victoria's Secret would smell like. And it's super cheap. One of my next favorite perfumes is the Argo Magic perfume. Um, I also got this at Marshalls. I'll try to link it in my Amazon storefront if I can find it. This perfume, um, I really like it because it smells like when my, I used to stay with my Nana when I was younger. My grandma I'd call her my Nana. Um, she used to spray a perfume like this on before she would go to work. And it literally just reminds me of that and it smells so freaking good. It was at Marshalls also. It smells so good. I don't know how to describe this. Um, it is a cheap perfume as you can tell by the bottle. It's pretty cheap. But I like the smell. I know the smell probably isn't going to be for everybody. Okay you guys, I tried to look this perfume up and it's like not available in the US for some reason. So yeah, it's a cheap perfume. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't like this smell anyways. But I do. Okay, the next perfume that I have in my collection is the Prada Candy Perfume. A lot of people like this perfume because it's supposed to smell like expensive cotton candy. Personally, I'm gonna be honest, I am not a big fan of this. Like, I don't think it's giving what it should have gave. I don't think it smells like candy, honestly. If I'm being completely honest, I don't think it smells like candy. And I don't ever really wear it, and I don't think I will, because it doesn't smell that good to me, so. Yeah. The next perfume I have in my collection, my mom got for me. This is a Kate Spade, I think. Yeah, this is a Kate Spade perfume. I forgot what this smells like. It's very florally. Um, It kind of smells like rose petals i honestly don't use this one either sorry mom don't hate me it just kind of smells like rose petals i don't like that smell honestly but it's a cute bottle to look at it has like these little circles on it other than that it's a no for me my mom would go right i bought her like five perfumes i swear or i bought my mom like three perfumes for every holiday and she never liked it until this year so She'll be all right if I tell her I don't like this one one of my next favorite perfumes is the ariana grande sweet like candy this literally smells like candy. It smells like what I would imagine like a ballerina smells like or something. 
um it smells so freaking good i don't find i mean i think this lasts a good amount of time but i don't think it lasts like crazy long i used to be a super big fan of ariana grande cloud but then i just used it way too much and I don't really use that one anymore. I know Baccarat Rouge smells like Ariana Grande Cloud, but I just can't really get down with it anymore. So Ariana Grande is one of my favorites when I'm just, I normally like to wear Ariana Grande when I'm wearing like Juicy Couture, Playboy, giving very much 2000s. Why? I don't really know. But yeah, I have repurchased Sweet Like Candy a million times. If you like Sweet Like Candy, you're definitely gonna like this one, the 118 Papaya Tropique. These smell so freaking good. The next perfume in my collection is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This... I honestly used to like it in the beginning, but now that I'm smelling it again, I, it reminds me of when I used to work at the bar, because that's when I would always spray it on. And it smells like a man, kind of, but also at the same time, I've smelled people with this on before when they came to the bar and it literally smelled like rubbing alcohol. I'm not even gonna lie. Like they've literally came and sat at the bar and this goes a long way. Like if you spray too much, it's no bueno. But literally I've had people come to the bar with Dolce & Gabbana light blue on, like guys, the guy version. And I've literally been like, who the fuck sprayed Germex or al rubbing alcohol or whatever the fuck. And it was literally this. So, I don't know if I really like this one anymore or not. I used it quite a bit whenever I worked at the bar, but I definitely think this is only for like certain occasions and you don't need a lot of this. It lasts a long time and I never got any compliments when I wore this. One of my favorite perfumes of all time is Versace Yellow Diamond. This is my first big bottle before I had the little bottle. I don't really know how to describe Versace Yellow Diamond. Let me look up the notes because I am not good at describing anything that doesn't smell sweet. So, Amalfi Lemon Pear Bergamot and Neroli middle notes are Mimosa, Freesia, Water Lily, African Orange Flower. Base notes are Musk, Guayac, Wood, and Amber. Um, I ha I used to have Versace Bright Crystal and I hated it. It literally smelled like rose petals to me. And this one was much better for me, honestly. And I've gotten- this one's more like- citrusy i guess i want to say um i really like this perfume i've gotten a lot of compliments with this perfume it lasts a super long time and if you're not into like super super floral scents this one is a good like floral scent for you if you don't like super super crazy floral stuff because it's more like citrusy and i really really love this one um coming from a girl who literally only likes childish candy smelling perfumes this is one of my favorites I also have a whole bunch of body sprays, but I don't think I was gonna add that in my perfume collection just because they're not perfumes. But other than that, that is going to be the end of my perfume collection. I'm so sorry I look a hot mess, you guys. It is currently 1.44 in the morning. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's literally 1.44 in the morning and I don't know why I'm filming this late, honestly. I just had to hurry up and get it done before the cruise, but like I said, make sure you guys go ahead and check out that Dossier affiliate link if you guys want to check out any Dossier perfumes. I promise you guys they have hella freaking perfumes that are probably your favorite perfume they probably have. I'm gonna look up some and name off some of the perfumes that they have because I didn't do them enough justice in the beginning. For instance, they have the MFK's Baccarat, Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe, which the Baccarat Rouge 540 is retailed at $300. Their price is $49, which is crazy good. The one that I have, the floral marshmallow perfume that I have is by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. This is retailed at $39. Let me look at like their most popular. They have YSL's Black Opium, which I need to try because I literally love that perfume. This does not do it enough justice from Rebel Sense, but that one is, which was actually the first one on there, was um, it's 29 freaking dollars. They have Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle for $29, but obviously like their names are different um, because they are dupes. They have Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, Fruity Brown Sugar. That's the one that I have. This is um, a dupe for YSL's Mon Paris. 
Perry. They have one for Gucci Bloom, which is $39. It's called Floral Honeysuckle. Fun fact, I hated Gucci Bloom. I think that shit stinks. They have a dupe for M Muggler's um, Alien, which is $29. They have a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which is called Ambery Cherry. It's $49. Like, I'm telling you guys, they have, oh yeah, they have a dupe for Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Um, it's called Citrus Green Apple. That is $29. They have so much more. Um, make sure you guys use my code J10. If you guys do get anything off of Dossier, I promise you guys will not regret it. Just make sure you guys read the notes of the perfume. If it's one of your favorite perfumes, just go ahead and try Try it and see if you like it. I seriously, seriously recommend Dossier and I stand by their brand. All of the other perfumes that I mentioned, I love so much, except for the ones that I said I don't use as much. Sorry, I'm like in an awkward little like crouching position. I'm still trying to figure out my setup in my new room. If you guys are interested in where I got the Playboy Bunny pillows from, I got them off of Zebra Bunny on Depop. And yeah, that's my perfume collection. I really hope you guys liked it. I hopefully will have a video up before I go for my cruise. I leave for my cruise. Saturday and I'm so excited to film a vlog for you guys but with that being said that's gonna be it for this video I love you guys so much I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications girl so you can get notified every single time that I post and follow me on TikTok Instagram snapchat all that good stuff will be linked down below I love you guys so much thank you again for one point 2 million almost 1.3 million on tiktok you guys are the best i love my ambers and i will see you guys in my next video bye